Enshrouded is an open world survival game where you build, craft, and fight monsters. We explore this open world with our powerful magic as we discover new places, magic, equipment, enemies, and allies. Join me on my 100 day journey as a mage in Enshrouded. So let's begin. Alright, we wake up from a giant jar and we're curious, where is this place? We had amnesia. We're at the cinder vault. What's this? It's the flame. He's telling us that we've slept for too long. And the realm of Embervale has fallen. It's already consumed by the shroud. And now, the enduring flames calls for me. Alright, so I find a place in this ruined world. I wish I was back at the jar. Because honestly, every time I go out here, it hurts my eyes. Since there was no path going down, we have to find somewhere else. And this was the somewhere else. <laughs> so we find a mine shaft here. And we got a torch. And for this run, since we're a pure mage, only going mage. We'll need to use a melee weapon first. In order to get bones. Because bones are needed to make a wand. Alright, so I broke this rock. We got the treasure chest. And in this treasure chest is a hatchet. We're gonna be using this for now. Till we get our wand. We got another torch. Okay, since our stamina is limited, we won't use it that much. And we got another torch. Yes. We are the three torch swordsmen. Like Zoro. Anyways, I won't be fighting these guys. Because it's against our rules to fight enemies without a magic weapon. Like we said. Because we're a magician. But we'll need to kill wolves. Hey, so flame altar. Immune with the flames, I'm not alone. There are other survivors, drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. I wanted to chop some trees, but the mushrooms distracted me. So I went on a looting spree instead. Finally, I remembered our goal of getting some wood to make a workbench. Maybe then we can craft the wand. I'm pretty sure it's the bones from the wolves or any enemies with bones. So I made the workbench and after placing it down, like I said, I was sure I needed bones because I don't see any wand here. So this is the only time I'll be using another weapon aside from the wand, only to get the bones. And see here, we ha now have unlocked the wand. And officially, we are a magician. Let's rest for now because our victory needs celebration. We need to cook these mushrooms as they make us more magical because <laughs> it gives plus two in. Since I had a wand now, I decided to explore this abandoned village or building or area. It's called the Long Keep and the Shrouded are here. Well, not a problem. With our magic wand, we killed it and gained a level. We're now level two. So let's add more intelligence to our brain power. For some reason, there was a campfire and meat here. I don't know, maybe someone was expecting our vi visit. So yeah, let's cook the meat. Thank you so much. I found a really old well here, so I decided to collect water from it. It's probably safe, because it's a game and we're magicians. We, we also ate some weird mushroom that gives us intelligence. So this should be fine. So we're at Braylon Bridge, but it's broken right now. So we're going down to the shroud to cross the other side. So there's you're no match for my magic. This guy gave a ring to the Elder Guard. What it does? Eight stamina, ten health. Pretty good. I decided to chop some wood in the shroud 
as we'll be needing this in the future for some glider or grapple. I don't remember, but I, I do remember we need this. I eventually found the area where the blacksmith was held. This is the altar of the blacksmith? I'm not sneaky because I'm not with, I'm not an assassin. I'll be hiding in the bush. We finally have enough turn cloth. Now we have clothes. Look, we have clothes. There's still one guard guarding this blacksmith. But no matter. Our magic is unbeatable. And we have awoken the blacksmith. Well, the only way I can kill these goats is if I auto run and shoot them with my magic. Because if I'm not close, they'll just run away from me. And I wouldn't be able to hit it. Because the range for wand attacks are not that far. So I chase them down. I needed the fur so I can make the fur armor set. The wolves are welcome because they're always running to us. Not like the goats where they ran away from us. Alright, so after a bit of farming, we now have the complete fur set. Look, we're not naked anymore. We have armor and the glowing wand. Nice. So I decided to move my base. My base only had the blacksmith and the uh, workbench anyways. So I move it to the place where we discovered the blacksmith. As this place was closer to the next areas we needed to go to. I mined a couple of rocks since I needed them for a charcoal killing. And we might also need them for making flame altars in the future. I always carry rocks with me so I can praise the flame. Anytime I want. Next, there was a well really close to me. So I decided to raid it, because why not? It was filled with level 3 monsters. My damage barely did anything to them. Well, not really barely, but it did a lot, I guess. About 8 shots and they're dead. So all we can do right now, really, is just hit them 3 times. I mean, hit them a lot till they die. And with nothing to regenerate, I made a lot of bandage to heal ourselves. This fight is kinda long, but it's fine. We can just run and hit. Oh my god. So yeah. <laughs> These guys that run are annoying, I think. But anyways, let's just uh, walk back, swing our magic wand until they die. That's my strategy here. Unless I run out of stamina like that, then we can jump shot with our magic. So let's fight. The fell thunderbrute with our magic wand. Basically, we just need to dodge that, and everything is easy. Ouch! All right, I was wrong. Yep. And with our magic, we defeated the brute. Now, we will cleanse the world of the shroud root, and it gives us three juicy skill points we can use to improve or strengthen ourselves. And for this, I'm gonna focus on getting the water aura first. Next place I went to is Rookmore. I just raided these scavengers and pillaged the village or pillaged their base out of your, their loot. I got a couple of blue elixirs here which increases the da my damage by 30% but also decreases my shroud time by 30% I believe. Ah my bad. Minus one minute in shroud. But first I'm gonna grab a bunch of elixirs. These things boost our damage but oh my god there's oh my god there's a lot. We gotta run. Right now, we don't have any AOE, so we just kind of have to kite these things one by one. Oh. This is called the Hopping Magician. <laughs> It should be fine now. There's only two of them. They're thankful that I don't have my magic staff yet. Because we don't have magic. 
Upon opening this chest, I got a fireball one. Nine pieces of them. So I decided to craft myself a staff as I so I can use the fireball. But let's test this out. Fireball! It's not that great. But it should be great with mobs. And here we have a treasure chest. Oh, a level three wand. An improvement to our weapon. Alright, after I was able to craft myself a grapple, I can finally pass through this area, which was gatekeep by having no grapple. Now, also with my level 3 wand, I became kinda stronger than before. Two wand levels stronger. Yeah, you're no match. Alright. Oh, look, we got a uncommon staff. But we have a rare stuff. But this is just level 1. And this one has more power. I went up this tower. It's called the Ancient Spire of the Springlands. These towers are going to be one of my important assets in the game. These are my teleport points where I can fly with my glider above the tower. But we need to solve a bunch of puzzles inside. There are buttons to push. Obstacle courses that we need to go through like a ninja warrior and yeah, I'll be using a level 1 bow only since I am a wizard and this is our challenge as a mage in Enshrouded. I need this because we need it for those targets. Spike traps to avoid and lava we shouldn't touch. And finally, we reach the top of the tower. We now have a very great access to go to all the quest sites we need to go. Because we're high above and we can just glide below. I noticed that there was a village on that area. So I decided to make it my base of operations. I'm gonna put a flame altar there and claim the land as my own. There are already a lot of planted fruit. I don't know, corn, tomatoes, and mushrooms here. These are now my corn, tomato, and mushrooms. But we gotta deal with these wolves first before we can settle in in this area. We gotta clear it of monsters. I worked all day to transfer all my stuff to this new area and also our allies. I wanted to expand my altar so we can claim the houses and that I don't know, barn, like garage, <laughs> garage for no car, garage for the horse, <laughs> or the little shed outside to be the workshop of our blacksmith. I tried sleeping in the bed, but it wasn't warm enough. So I decided maybe a campfire would do. So I placed a campfire beside the bed and yes, it did work out. I got the rested buff. I was warm. I hope the house doesn't burn down. In this farm, there is actually a hidden treasure. So I dig it up and open what's inside. And inside, we got an axe we don't use. So I guess it becomes a runes. I decided to raid yet another elixir well. Because it was close by to my new base. And I also reached level 3. We're now very close to getting the water our rascal that we always wanted. The moment we beat the shroud root here we can now get the water aqua oh my god these bugs surprised me but our wand was too strong for it right now i'm raiding this place i don't even have any bandage to heal myself but i have a single health potion and i thought that was enough <laughs> i just need to be careful not to get hit anymore and we got this if there's an emergency, I'll drink the potion. Okay, so for this guy, let's try our fireball. Oh. Fireball. Oh, wow. The fireball is so strong. Oh, bugs. Oh. Yeah, we have one, like, you know, we don't have healing. Oh. Yeah, we have to use our potion now. It's too bad. That hurts. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Fireball! 
Oh my lord, stop. Stop. Uh, I think this guy is the last one. Fireball! Let's destroy this quick. And get the heck out of here, we have no healing. Alright. Now we have healing. We level up our water aqua with additional waters of life. Woof! Sheesh! <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. We don't need bandage anymore. And we got oh an epic scorching wand. That's a great find. We have a fire wand now. After that, I went to raid a scavenger base. They had guarded the altar of the alchemist. We're gonna need him to join our team because he has the potions and wizard items. With our new fire wand. Well, nothing really changed because they're pretty immune to fire, the scavengers. The one weak to fire are the shrouded, and these guys are weak to ice. I don't really have any ice. Ice one. So we're just gonna, you know, make use with our fire one. I don't have any other one. <laughs> I, I salvaged my other one. My mistake. So there are two remaining scavengers inside the. the what do you call this place again? The vault. So yeah, after taking care of them, finally, we have rescued the soul of the alchemist. Let's go. And before I went home, I decided to raid this cave right here. It contained treasures of the scavengers per the note I read on the page I saw in the, the vault area. So yeah, we'll fight this guy. This guy got trapped in its own trap. This is dumb. Anyways, let's go. Ha ha! With, with my water aura, I fear nothing right now. I can just heal up anything they dish out. Except for the melee characters because they hurt. The ranged characters though, I don't really care much. Their damage is so mediocre compared to the melee ones. The melee ones can two-shot me. The ranged ones, takes a bit of time. And then we have the Wailing Blade which we don't need. But it's good to have because it's a quest from the blacksmith. With my summoning staff, I summoned the alchemist. And as you can see, he has some quests for us and also he can craft some stuff for us. The grinding stone, especially important, as well as the armor. The alchemist apprentice set. We'll need bone meal, string, and torn cloth. So we'll need to head to the shroud to grab some torn cloth. As for the bone meal, we'll just need to make the grinder. I went on a mining spree at night because I needed flintstone to mine. I mean, to make the bone grinder. I mean, the grinder, <laughs> bone grinder. But we're gonna grind bones. That's why I called it bone grinder. But it's an actual. It's just a grinder. Time to grind some bones. While it's grinding, I did the various other stuff because I just can't wait. I chop a bunch of wood for resins and wood. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I chop a bunch of trees for wood to grab resins and wood logs. And then went to collect some plant fibers from this dying plants because I needed strings to make the armor set. And look, I have made almost everything except for the armor because I needed more bone meal and also strings and torn cloth. So I gotta look for some. I just visited the shroud nearby, the elixir well we recently conquered. So I can get some torn clods. I fear nothing right now. They can't kill me with my water aura. After that, I finally finished crafting my entire apprentice alchemist set. And now we act we look like a magician. Right? <laughs> A magician in tattered. That's why it's called an apprentice set. Why are all the apprentice armors is, like apprentice armors in this game look like they're tattered? I guess that's how we start. All right, we're a man with a mission. We're jumping off the tower to go to our next destination, which was the altar of the hunter, and next the question marks on the map. But yeah, we need the hunter so we can make the small bag to increase the capacity of our inventory. That would be really great. I love inventory slots. This place or the hunter's fault was full of monsters called the Volca. They're humanoid beasts 
that carries a sword and sometimes there are shaman types. So yeah, but they're weak to fire and we have fireball and a fire wand. The ancient vault. Fireball. Um. Fireball. The hunter's vault was pretty easy to raid because there were no monsters guarding inside. There were just booby traps that I can easily dodge. So yeah, now that we got the hunter, I guess the carpenter would be next. So let's summon the hunter. And with the hunter, we can now make an drying rack, which we can make dried fur. And with dried fur, we can make a new glider and the small backpack. So we're going to use all our animal fur to process that. But we got to go mine some salt. And there's just the perfect place for that in the beginning village. At the beginning area, there's a place... Oh, I, I was trying to hunt a goat, but, you know, it ran away and it fell. Right, there's two goats here and... No. No way. They'd rather... Commit... No way. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna give up. I, I just can't catch these guys. I'm trying my best <laughs> Come back. Oh my god, I don't have the stamina for this. Okay, okay. Uh, for sure. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's get the animal fur. So yeah, just right down from the cinder vault, there's this area in the shroud that has a whole bunch of salt deposit. So I'm just gonna mine everything here. Oh wait, yeah. Inside there was a treasure. I got the ring health. Nice. We got a regeneration plus more health. So yeah, I mined until my inventory was full of salt, so I don't need to come back here anymore. You need salt with that? So yeah, after processing my animal fur, the dried fur, I now had a small backpack. Let's go. Look at the extra inventory slot. Just to show off my magic skills, I killed a family of Vuka in this cave. Because they had a chest, actually. Ooh, hopefully we get a magic wand that has the element of ice yeah that's not a wand so i was curious i saw an enshrouded area that looked like a broken city it was actually called the saline springs so yeah i killed oh ooh, what's this wolf doing is it my friend what the wolf is frozen in fear i actually don't know what it's doing but it attacked the, sh the shrouded it's my friend but well, animal fur. Well, there was really nothing of interest there. So I continued my adventure to the ancient spire of this area. I don't know what it's called. But anyways, I'm going to the tower. So we'll have another fast travel point where we can just fly around on top of the tower. And just like that, we reach the top. As I was looking for the ancient vault of the carpenter, I was kinda lost. Cause there's a giant mountain here and I don't know where to go. But after encircling the mountain, and Jesus Christ, these wolves are level 7. They're pretty strong and uh, tanky now. So yeah, the vault was actually located below the mountain. There was this bridge here. Filled with level 7 shrouded, but good thing they're weak to fire. So we have an advantage here, even though we're their level 7. We got this. And per usual, the archers do nothing to us because we can just outheal everything it does. So no problem at all. Oh, these guys can't do anything as well. I am currently a tank. I don't even have any constitution stats aside from the one I get from the wolf meat. I'm being swarmed with insects right now, so good thing we have our fireball. But then I ran out of mana, so I can't really do anything. So we have to go to be like one again. <laughs> we can just kite these guys. Their damage are not really that big, and our aqua or our aqua, 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 our water aura can out heal their DPS. We are invincible right now. They just can't do anything. Maybe only the big bosses or higher level shrouds can maybe deal damage to us. Like I said, mages are 
OP in this game. Just get the water aura and you'll never die. In the early levels, of course. Because in later levels, you'll get destroyed with the mage's low defense. Alright, this is our first encounter with a flying magician monster and it's already dead. And I gotta grab the shroud core. It's actually in a panic because I'm all, almost running out of enshrouded time. But good thing the hourglass is here. So now we healed at about 4 minutes left of our enshrouded time. So this is good. Now we can just chill for 4 minutes and locate where the carpenter is. Well, it's obvious that he's here. Because <laughs> uh, the fireflies are guiding us and there's also light here. So yeah, we'll use our explosive bomb. Explosion! And there was a leech guarding here. Leech, you have one shot fireball. Oh, freaking heck. I'm stuck. What the hell? Fireball! Oh, we're alive. Mini fireball. Alright, so we got the carpenter. And one more to go, and we've completed the five super allies we have. Alright, alright. The best thing to ever happen, since now we have the carpenter, we have the magic chest. Basically a magic chest, any item inside it can be used on making stuff in the base. Like, like you need something to craft something, right? If the item is inside the magic chest, it's automatically used up. You don't need it in your inventory, you just put it in the chest. So this is why the carpenter is one of the best ally you can ever make in this game because you would need the magic chest. Oh my god, it's actually time to rest now. Let's just put a campfire inside this broken house and sleep. Take a good nap. For our next adventure, we went to this hidden tomb. Entry. So yeah, this tomb was full of spiders, but well, they're just basically one shot on my magic wand. So there were they were not a threat. I was just gonna go inside and loot the the lootables. We got a bone block. Meh. My next goal was to save the farmer from the ancient vault. So I'm going on now on the journey towards the farmer. She was just straight ahead and we can save the farmer. And right, in order to save this farmer, we need to solve a couple of puzzles and buttons to push so to open the door. So yeah, the farmer needs some work before she gets saved. Well, anyways, uh, anyways, after pushing all the button, we now have the farmer. I decided to do a quest for the alchemist. He said at a tomb, near this area had a eternal ice spell so we're gonna have an eternal ice bolt eternal meaning we can use it for an unlimited amount of times if you didn't know spells in this game you need to craft them and it's a limited amount but if you get the eternal version it's unlimited as the name suggests eternal and here we go the eternal ice bolt it's pretty weak but at least we have an eternal version of spell Next, I raided an elixir well that was nearby after the tomb. Hi friend. <laughs> now what, huh? Fireball in the face. Fireball. Oh, he's running away. I see. Oh, there's so many here. Alright. Anyways, this is our... <laughs> Well, this is kind of easy. He's dead. Right. Now, we have quick charge. That means we can cast spells faster. Right. Oh my god, that's so fast. Right. During my adventures, I found a level 9 rare wand the crackling wand. Upon coming to this abandoned camp, I found a level 9 uncommon staff, which is stronger than our current staff. So I'll be using this for sure. Heading towards my next objective, there was a gate here filled with three flowers that spew poison. And honestly, their poison couldn't do anything to the water aura we have. I can just out heal it. 
They were no threat at all, as I can only be poisoned once until the duration is over. But I was too cocky and almost died, but good thing we didn't die. Yeah, the place was a forest. I think it's called the Revelwood Forest. And it was full of strawberries and other plants like indigo, flax. We finally found flax. It was time to farm flax because we need it later. A lot of them. A lot of them. The shrouded in this area had these blue flowers. It contained a shroud sack we would need later to strengthen the flame. So I need to kill about 15 of them. But for now, I was looking for two things here. A shroud root and some mushrooms. They're blue mushrooms. I forgot what it's called, but they give like pastry in. And currently, we're here at a city full of shrouded as the alchemist needed us to search for the alchemist tower. And yeah, these guys are pretty slow, so they can't really do anything to us. I'm just gonna slowly kill them one by one like this. Mage. So fun, so strong, too overpowered, actually. Yeah, that's one by one on one this knight. He's pretty fast. But his shield can't def can't def defend against our map. Oh, oh what the f <laughs> We got one shot. <laughs> Yo. This is why I guess we're being cocky. He mostly drops all our material. Alright. So is this the guy? Where's his shield? Oh, he's level 15 and I'm level 5. You know, you, you'd you wonder why he'd one-shot me. Well, not anymore, buddy. I don't think you can come near me. Level 15, my butt. Alright, so inside the alchemist tower, we just needed to locate the button to open his secret l laboratory downstairs. It was fairly easy to locate. It was just right behind this door and then i got the mortar i currently couldn't make the mage set since it required linen and amber which i don't have any right now it was time for me to actually make my farm so i cleared out an area outside the the house where my npcs are at and put some farm soil in this area. Basically what farm soil does, it increases the rate of your plant's growth. So this was a pretty good idea since we're gonna need a lot of linen. And to get a lot of linen, we need a lot of flax. And to get a lot of flax, we need to plant it. And also we need to plant stuff we need so we can make more food buffs. Well, on my way to my quest objective, I saw a bunch of wolf here. Oh. What? I don't have mana. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. I was gonna, you know, chain lightning that. I don't have stamina and mana. What the hell is this? How? Okay. You know what? Chain lightning! Chain. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm it's crazy. I'm level six now. Yeah, definitely fighting these level nine monsters aren't good for me. <laughs> we're very low level right now, but I'm at an area which is already high level, but it's fine. We're mage. We're built different. We're very strong. So yeah, I went to this Missbury Catacombs. It had a good shield for low levels like us, which didn't have that much HP. So I needed to do a lot of solving puzzles here because there's like a lot of buttons needed to open that door to that shield. Oh, oh, oh I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. Oh. Yeah, I got my moments where I died because, you know, I was <laughs> careless. So yeah, I actually didn't have that much lockpick on me. Like, I didn't even have any scraps. I was kind of stuck at a part here where I didn't have any lockpick. So I had to go home and I made a mistake and reset the whole thing. 
because I click return to menu for some reason. Haha. <laughs> While exploring the Miss Spiricata Cubs, I got a level 7 legendary staff! Let's go! So I went on, did the various things to push all the buttons I needed to push, like explode something. There's like secret areas like this one. And eventually, we finished the dungeon. Was this worth it? It glows. Upgraded the legendary staff we got. Now we had a level, a high level legendary staff. Our fireball will be very strong now. And also I had the flax seedlings I processed. So now let's be a farmer. I raided an area called Fort Calvin. It wasn't really that hard as they're all Vulcas. And these guys are weak to fire and we have a fire wand. <laughs> So I easily cleared this area of the Vuka inhabitants. There were a bunch of treasures here but we were not lucky enough to get a wand. There's also a hidden treasure here and opening it, it's a wand! Let's go, we have a new level 9 epic wand which would be a better addition or a better swap with this uncommon one we have we're currently using. We're gonna be way stronger than currently are because we have an additional 9 plus 3 upgrade levels. So let's try our fireball with this legendary wand. One sh Oh, it's not one shot. Okay. So let's mini fireball. Okay. After hard work of everything so far, we're already on day 20. So let's just cook this magical mushroom to make us much smarter before we engage in battle once more. I raided this area called the Thornhold. It had the table saw that the carpenter was looking for. And it also had these... Freaking very strong level 11 dual wielder poison blade scavenger <laughs> Which was the bane in every in every enshrouded gameplay. I hate this guy So tanky so strong. I can't believe this exists. This is way stronger and tougher than the bosses in the game. I swear I subot I bolt. <laughs> level 7, yes, yes, we're level. I was in tears of joy, not pain. Because we're level 7 versus these level 11 tanky ass scavengers. I hate them. I hate them. All I feel is pain. Agony. When I'm surrounded by all of these. There's two. There's four. And our fire, our, our wand is so weak. I We have a low level ice wand, but it's better than our high level fire wand because they're resistant to it. But anyways, I had a plan for this guy. See, see that parry. See, <laughs> we we'll parry and hit him with our wand. We're improving. We're adapting. We're getting stronger. We're better. Let's go. But you know how I complain about the level 11 monsters? These guys on this other cab where the table saw is actually located, they're level 13. And they're so strong. They're so tanky. They're so fast. I'm dying. <laughs> oh my god. Use bunny hop. Bunny hop. Bunny hop. Please. Live. Hop attack. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, stun you. Oh, timing. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. There's so there's so many close calls. Eventually we reach the saw blade. We have the circular saw blade now. But all we need to do now is defeat the boss that was near that tower. But first we gotta kill all the minions first. And this was not that easy, but not that hard as well. It's not the green one. We're fine. Oh my god, this is not the balls yet. But I Oh my lord. Oh lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's buff up. Oh my god. 
I didn't have the health to fight that. <laughs> oh. 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 What the fuck? Oh. Why can't I time it right? I wanna bl parry it, but I can't time it right. Die, fool. I'm going crazy in this place. Everything. There's one more! What the hell? <laughs> My weapon is breaking. Okay. Whoa. Let's fire our ice bolt. Oh, <laughs> ice bolt. Ice bolt. <laughs> oh no. The minion is here. Ah, it's okay. Back away. I'm saving my magic wand for the boss because it's a low durability. Ice bolt! Ice bolt! Oh, he's calling the dogs. The dogs are not a problem. They die pretty fast. Oh my god, it's a level 13 dog! <laughs> Everything is so scary. Ice bolt. Ice bolt. Okay, it's almost done. Didn't I have a mana potion? So oh, that's why I'm weak. All right, let's drink this thing. Ice bolt. Oh, there's it's got a magic in his belly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. He summons two dogs. Ice bolt! Ice bolt! Oh my god! Let's finish this with an ice bolt! <laughs> Let's go! You're dead, fool! And we have a wizard gloves! Let's go! Let's strengthen the flame if we have enough materials. We're lacking in spark. Charcoal and shroud root. I should have a lot of charcoal. But a shroud root, let's find some. Alright, after getting the circular saw blades from the map where we fought the boss, we got a table saw. I saw this clay node and decided to mine it as some NPCs require this to build their stations. Future stations. So yeah, I got about stack, then I left. I went inside this cave passage full of wild boars. The stone looked pretty. Just highlighting this. The forest is full of boars, and as much as I like them because of their raw game early on, I have too many raw game now, and they're kinda annoying at this point. But at least I leveled up to level 8. Let's go. I started chopping some shroud wood as we need this to upgrade our or strengthen our flame. I also made some fire bricks from the clay we have gotten earlier, manage our flax farm for a bit as linen is gonna be so useful later on and headed to this ancient obelisk which was on top of a mountain i didn't want to go down the road because it's pretty far so i just decided found a way i mean a means to climb up the mountain <laughs> in a unique way i didn't have double jump so it was kind of hard but with our explosions we managed to get up and interacted with the ancient obelisk I also raided this low level dungeon or tomb I found. It was just pretty simple. I just, you know, ran through everything. But as a mage, we don't really have that much endurance. I mostly added my skill points to the mage tree. So I don't really have endurance aside from the water I have. Which we later improved to chamomile tea once, once we get the fireplace. I grabbed our remaining spark we need to strengthen the flame and this is a flame sanctum on the south west of the map. There's also a shroud root here so I'm gonna go visit that. 
So yeah, I'm just clearing all the low level areas to get some, you know, side quest experience, as you may say. Because we're pretty weak, as you can see on our boss fight on day 20 and day 19. We were so under leveled and under geared i'm not sure about under geared but there's really no upgrade right now to my armor and my weapons well my weapon could get a use to i was using a common frost wand level five at that because i couldn't find any good wand i should really farm equipment but i was very confident that mage would be very strong and i didn't wanna give up on that idea that mage are very strong so i didn't need to upgrade my wand but yeah after that moment, I decided I should really farm items. But for now, since we're only clearing the low level areas, I don't really need upgrades at the moment. So this is the last section of the unexplored parts of the map on the southwest. This is a scavenger camp with a mine shaft is what it says on the label. But yeah, <laughs> fairly easy because they're just level 3 monsters. Our level 5 one can pretty much clear it with no problem. Next, I headed to this uh, VUCA arena where the VUCA brawler is and we're gonna fight him. VUCA brawler, first we take out the healers. Oh wait, he's not dead. Oh, Oof, die. Yes, okay. So that's one. It's a big boy. Fireball. Okay, we're, we'll slam it down. Nice. Fireball. <laughs> Effective, 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 effective. Shield! Ouch, shield doesn't work on this guy. Fireball! Fireball! Dodge! Fireball! And let's just throw some mini fireballs at his face. Yo, this guy can't hit us. <laughs> Fireball! Fireball! A few more. Oh my god, holy heck. Anyways, his DPS can't keep up. He has pauses before attacks again. Doesn't do anything. He's dead. Water Aura OP. I also visited the er Egerton Salt Mines just so I unlocked the place. And also went to the Shroud Root that was here. It was pretty close, but I had a hard time finding it for some reason. Next, I just traveled the land trying to see if I miss anything before proceeding then this hunter gave me the quest it was actually an obelisk spot i thought it was monsters since the name of the quest was a test of skill i guess he he i mean the hunter was testing me on my hunting skills which as you can see amazing so i found the ancient spire of revelwood a great addition to our fast travel areas we now have a tower in this place and we reach level nine let's go Let's add one mastery and oh, I could have already added it. And sting. Now our one damage can have a chance of throwing an additional projectile, and also it increases damage each time. And see that double projectile right there? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I, I'm gonna. I can see the future. We're gonna be doing massive DPS. All right. So the tower. Let's go. I got a wizard boots from this chest inside the tower. It's pretty nice because we're on low level gear right now. And this level uh, level 13 boots would help us significant. Not really. It just increased magical resistance. So the melee enemies are still going to destroy us. And finally, we reach the top. Let's go. Immediately, I made use of the height advantage to go to my next quest. Which was a chest by Ender something. <laughs> Not sure if this was the right place, but I never read the text from the quest. I just know the name of the place is Underwald Underworld Chess. But well, there's no chess here. Only that. It wasn't that good. But, well, anyways, we completed that quest. I went home to do my usual planting of flax. I would be happy later on when I know I made enough to make endgame armors. I also was running out of uh, stat foods. So I just chill a bit at home and cook some food. Look at the double projectile in action. It's so strong. I had a quest for the blacksmith on this mine to retrieve a crucible. 
So yeah, since I found like a bronze node, I decided to mine some about 20 so I can make about 10 bars to upgrade my tools like my pickaxe and my axe. Afterwards, I went searching for the crucible the blacksmith was looking for and it was here just behind a bunch of rubbles. Good thing we had some bombs so we can clear this much faster. Alright. And we got it. Day 29, I explored the Grind Teeth Grotto. There's supposedly a shroud root here, so we're gonna destroy that to get more skill points. There wasn't really much here, like not even a mini boss that guards the shroud root. It's more or less just the bugs. And look at the chain lightning in action. So good, right? <laughs> Alright, let's chop this down. I raided yet another cave with a shroud root. And this time, this cave had embers. Finally, the ore we need so we can craft our new mage set. So I started chopping this shroud root immediately. And also in this area, it was actually a very great place to farm uh, chests. There's like three chests here. One is just located above this after defeating the bugs. So let me show you this. There's a golden chest here. Okay, so let's see what we got. Eh. Okay, and there's another chest right here. It's a silver chest, but still it gives around level 13 armors and level 15 weapons. I'm not really lucky. I already have the wizard gloves. And lastly, there's this chest outside just right here. Woo! Level 15 legendary stuff. Let's go. So yeah, in this place, you can farm this fairly easily. And that's what I did because I know I'm undergeared. All you need to do is go up from this area. Just mine your way up. If you don't have bombs, just mine your way up. But good thing I had bombs. And afterwards, just find a place where you can put your flame altar if you want to grind here as well. And here we go. So yeah, I decided to farm this area and mine some embers. I still wasn't done because I still needed the fire wand. I only gotten an epic level 15 wand. Not yet the legendary or epic fire wand. I just really need the fire wand. Then I'm done here. We can proceed with our next missions. Also, the flax farming never stops. <laughs> I'll keep doing this until I'm satisfied. Or I'm pretty sure that I won't run out or something. Finally, after a while of grinding, we finally had the legendary fire wand. And now we can proceed because we have a legendary fire wand, an epic wand, and a legendary staff. So we're gonna go now and continue with our missions. So I went to this cave entrance the hunter wanted me to go to. It seems like her hand spindle should be located right here. And this place was full of spiders. But no matter, we have our new weapons, our new arsenal, we should be fine. I honestly just ignored the spiders and went for the hand spindle as, you know, I didn't want to fight them. They're, they're, I don't think they're such a great source of XP and there's so many of them. I kinda hate it. But let me just kill a few before I teleport out. Now, all the flax we farm is gonna go here. And even that's not enough yet. We'll keep farming more. No. No. We're missing shroud sack. Seems I have to go hunt some blue flowers in the shroud. Because they are the ones who drop sh shroud sacks. To make the advanced glider. So we have completed our mage set. <laughs> See how it looks. The hat, the armor, the gloves, the pants. Wait, we're, we're missing one. I hear. <laughs> it looks so bad. I mean, it looks so bad in front. It it looks so weird, but I guess it's decent. But I don't know. It's I think it's the hat. Maybe because we don't have hair in front. It looks like we're bald or something. Anyways, this is fine. So I raided a bunch of elixir wells next as I really wanted more skill points because I needed a lot of skills to add before we can get to the point where we are 
overpowered. Also, uh, being overpowered really comes later since we didn't have much magic spells right now. We only have the Eternal Ice Bolt and I would like the Eternal Fire Bolt because I don't want this Fire Bolt to run out. I want to keep casting it. For now, I didn't put any points to Quick Charge but I'm thinking of putting some now because we may be able to craft the Eternal Fire Bolt soon once we unlock the Alchemist Laboratory, I believe. <laughs> This is peak mage gameplay. Not really. They're just a slow moving shroud and some archers and they can't really do anything. So imagine if these guys could run. I would be screaming and crying right now. But too bad. They're just like walking. I can just move back and slowly swing my wand like this and they'll all die. They'll succumb to my wand. The next elixir well had a thunder brute, so let's see how it goes. Fireball! Oh my god, look at the damage. <laughs> He's dead That's so fast. Oi! No! 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 I swear to god, that design right there. I could barely see that there was a hole there. Oh yeah, this guy's dropped poison sacks. Oh, why is it running away? Stop running. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Come back! They run so goddamn fast. Anyways, I raided the yet another elixir well and this time the monsters here are level 15. I was at the last part of the elixir well but my, you know, my fire wand broke because I forgot to repair it at home. All I can do now is rely on my 11 fireball that's left and he, that guy almost kicked me off and <laughs> I would have died again. But anyways, I took care of them really easily. I can blink. I have 8 fireballs left. You're nothing. Oh, damn. Okay. okay, I dodged that. Fireball. And oh, he's dead. No, not yet. Alright. He's dead. Let's go. Alright, so my anti insect is here. The aura. After collecting enough shroud sack, I finally made the advanced glider. So we can travel the air faster now. I eventually reach Pike Mead's reach. <laughs> eventually reach. Uh -huh. So yeah, there's so many objectives in Pike Mead's reach. We have about, I think, two shrouds or more. I mean, shroud roots. And then there's also the boss we need to defeat so we can strengthen our flame. And I will ignore the armor set we can find here because I don't really need it. Yeah, I restarted my game thinking... It was the game that was laggy, but it was actually just... Yeah, it is a game, but this place. It's this place. There's so many things happening in this place. So many buildings and stuff. Monsters, mists, shrouds, shroud roots. So I guess that contributed to why I'm very laggy here. But look, look at how my aura is affecting the insects. It just dies in a while. I just leave it be, but actually it takes like three ticks. So it takes a while. So it's, it's working out, right? I might, I might need a blink strike just to make it quicker. But for now, I don't really have the skill points. So here's the first shroud, I mean shroud root we need to chop down. That, oh my god, that guy just sneak up behind me. Oh, there's a bunch of them. It's a wave of shrouded zombies or something. So yeah, uh, let's take care of this and take care of the root. Not that hard. The damage from my radiant aura isn't really that big for these guys. It's only effective against the low HP ones like the insects. I also picked up a kettle in the flame shrine. This was requested by the farmer to locate it. And also we reached level 12. So on the next shroud route, we fight this brute which got brutally murdered by our one but we were dying because we didn't have any meat buff right now. We gotta eat our meat so we can get like some constitution. I would die in one shot by these guys if I don't have any meat buff. Look at that damage! I'm... I swear, I get one shot. I'm a glass cannon. 
<laughs> it only takes two shots for me to die. Anyways, chop chop. <laughs> I need. Oh. oh my god, this sneaky little punk. We've reached the area with our boss fight. I'm kind of scared that it would one shot me. Because imagine how those guys, the normal mobs, did damage to us. <laughs> it feels like they were gonna one shot me as well. Let's put that teleport right here. Just in case. Boss battle time. Resisted? What? Oh my lord! Wait, what's his weakness then? Resisted? Excuse me? He's immune to oh, both fire and... It's okay, we have our sun aura. We're fine. What's he doing? I think if we hit his face... Yeah, 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 I knew it. Yeah, now everything's affected. Die. Wow, what a... Wow, what a hard boss fight. Such a big dragon and one weakness is hit the mouth. A mana ring! And with health, let's go. And then we have the key to the pike. I got everything I need in order to strengthen my flame aside from about 15 pieces of copper. So I started mining some copper. So we can strengthen the flame. So now that we defeated the fell wisp wisp wyvern, we can now strengthen the flame. We have all the required stuff. Now we have flame level 4 with an additional stat and other stuff. So now we only need to get uh yeah, a bunch of new stuff we haven't unlocked yet. Let's go. So the only thing I need to do now is basically to finish up on these low level areas before I proceed to the next shroud area or shrouded level. Basically the pillars of creation which is where the masonry tool is. So yeah for now I'll explore everywhere else in the map I haven't done yet. Like there's so many other quests I need to do like these on top. And after that, we can go to the Pillars of Creation. I went to a lot of uh, Flame Sanctums, collected some Sparks. They also gave experience points every time you just came in for the first time. I visited places I haven't yet, just so I could remove the side quest marks on my map. Like this question mark right here. We got to the Willow Crush. Almost forgot, now that we had the kettle, we can make the fireplace. Now we don't need to cook our own food. We can just lap it in. And it will cook for us. Like the raw games. The Azure Vesula. Yeah. We can save time now. And also I can make some popcorn. And some chamomile tea. Which is a great addition to our buffs now. I'm saving one to plant later. So we can multiply this. As for the popcorn. I'm probably not using it. Unless I'm just mining or chopping trees. Because we really need our raw game. Or the constitution. Because... Our HP is basically nothing or zero without it. Look at that. <laughs> we have no HP. For the following day, I just defeated some Shroud Root so we can gain more juicy XP pots. And also testing out my Sun Aura. It's not as amazing as I thought. I mean, the bugs do die but it takes a while for them to die and I hate that. I want them to instantly die. I went to this place called the Bramble Binds Boneyard just so I could, you know, finish the quest. It, I think it contained like blocks for the carpenter. I managed to reach level 13 here, just killing a bunch of level 15 monsters that were lurking inside as I explored the area. And after killing all the enemies in sight and eventually got to the final room where the tomb is, I got myself a stamina ring. Plus 3 stamina with 2 regeneration. It's all good. I am changing my mana ring for stamina ring right now. I don't really have any magic spells I can use. Because I still don't have the eternal version of the fireball. And the ice bolt is pretty weak. We are down to only 3 or 4 of the final areas to explore in this revel wood or this mid-level. Mid 
I guess we can call it mid-level. Mid-level area. And where we can finally go to the pillars of creation. Where we can fight off high-level monsters at around level 18 or 20. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there are more than 15. Because currently in Rivalwood, the highest is level 15. Yeah, I raided the scavengers in this area called the... Glenwood. <laughs> Glenwood's End. So I just went inside, just rushed to the boss, and got the treasure. Ice Bolt! Ice Bolt! Ice Bolt! Well, let's just spam Ice Bolt and they'll die. <laughs> yeah. Your poison can't reach me, but I can reach you. You're dead. <laughs> So we defeated the Glenwood. Glenwood's end. Next, just like three more stuff in the low level area. And when we're done with everything, I honestly don't want to get the the Guard of the North set. As I won't be using it anyways. Upon running around, I there's an ice biome. I guess this is a future update. And we also have like deep snow debuff. Hmm, interesting. Can't wait to see what update this game gives us in the later parts. Anyways, I dove to the abandoned hunter camp only to not read the note here. I just wanted to clear the quest as usual. I went to defeat a nearby shroud root. It's very scary going here because you only have a ladder and I have to, I mean a ladder, a wood plank and I have to be careful. If I fall, I'm dead, 100% dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's chop this thing down and lastly we looted a treasure from skimmer's cove so now another ring of stamina nice so now we have completed everything we need to do on this stage of the game aside from the guard of the north that so yeah time to proceed to the pillars of creation so i raided the glimmer rock mine in order to go to the gate of pillars of creation the monsters here aren't really tough, just level 11 for some reason, and they're guarding the next area. But I guess since the next area, you can't pass through unless you level up your shrine to about level 4. So it's understandable that they didn't really need guards for this gate. It's actually called Gates 2, the Pillars of Creation. <laughs> I bet. Anyways, let's go get the masonry tool. These black jars are treasure trobes these contains a lot of high quality or high level or the next area materials like the fire brick some potions like the flask of fell tin bars bronze bars copper bars you name it also some foss i mean bone fossils they have a lot to they have a lot to give and i didn't really have the inventories i needed to go home so i can't stock on this yeah i was about to burp if you notice this, this is an actually a uh, automated honey farm. As you can see, I am looting this golden poop on the ground. It's actually wax and honey. So yeah, uh, how this works is if you chop down a tree and it's within the range of your flame altar, it will just keep breaking every time it respawns or every time you log in and log out. So I have two spots like this. I will not run out of money. It's it's crazy, the bug. <laughs> Anyways, now that we have a lot of linen and dried fur, we can make the medium backpack for the expanding our inventory. Let's go. We have more slots now. Even with all those flax I have planted recently, it's never enough. So I just keep planting flax so we can uh, craft our next mage set uh instantly without waiting or farming for flax because we have a lot after all my preparation and shenanigans and making the bag i went back to the gate to the pillars of creation and so let's just call this the pillars of creation so yeah uh i'm gonna farm a lot of these jars until i'm satisfied basically until i get like 12 bronze bars because i want to make the new pickaxe and axe i think it's way easier to farm these than actually farming copper and tin than combining them into bronze so that's the goal but we'll need the smithing tool that the blacksmith will ask us in the future once we get to the next area all right the inner sanctum oh oh my god that hurts 
Oh, I hope this is enough. I hope this is enough. <laughs> we found the ancient obelisk. Alright, so we got the masonry tool for the... Ooh, there's a lot of items here as well. Masonry tool for the carpenter. Oh, there's a bunch of items here. Oh my god, this is a great farming spot. We can also break this. It might contain something better than wood. And there's a chest here. Oh, nice. So I ended up farming in this area until I got like 12 bronze bar. And then I left afterwards. And finally, on day 45, we got the last bronze bar. Let's go. Well, these are my yield after looting this place for a while. We have a lot of uh, some elixir, potion, acid bites. A light burst. This is important. The most important part is 12 bronze bars. With this, we can make the tools for a copper axe and a pickaxe. Also some leather, but I don't think this is enough. We'll need a, a ten. Oh, seven. Right, I'm going to be using all of this. So now we'll have a bronze. Oh, we can't yet. We need a smithing tool. Dang. Why did I collect bronze then? Oh, we can make it. It only requires two leather. We now have an extraordinary glider. Let's go. Next, I mined a bunch of amber as we needed this to make the eternal firebolt. So yeah, we're going to have unlimited firebolt. We can now cast unlimited firebolt. Give me the eternal fireball. We need alchemy station. I can't make this yet. Oh my god. We also need bronze bars. Oh my god. All right. We need a lot of bronze bars. So the very first enemies here in the new area are the Vokas. And yeah, they're very easy to kill because we have our level 15 fire one. Just a few hits and they die. And they drop a few new items like the feathers and the eggs. The feathers are, isn't going to be useful. It's for arrows. But the eggs is going to be useful for food. I've also encountered these... Tiger, hyena, lion, I don't know, monsters. And they drop raw games. Everything here is kind of weak to fire. Maybe aside from the scavengers, we'll see eventually. But for now, every Volca here and the animals are weak to fire. They we're doing pretty good. I missed the cat. It looks so bad. I have a mystic cat now. So I raided this scavenger camp as the almanac and seedling thingy thingy the farmer was looking for was located here. So yeah, we're gonna be getting that so we can craft better food buffs. Ouch! Oh my god. Alright. So the almanac is around there. As I've reached the arena, there were a lot of monsters. They saw me. Acid bite their face. Acid bite is really strong. Paired with the mage's skill 3. Where whenever you crit, it's static. It shocks them and the damage is based on your intelligence. Oh, here she is. It doesn't reach right. Acid bite! Oh, it doesn't reach. <laughs> acid bite! Oh my god, look at the acid bite damage. And it's dead. Alright. Oh, it's explode. Okay. Woo! Okay, we got the almanac of plant seed for the farmer. So we have unlocked a bunch of new food from the farmer. Like soup. Omelette, which gives plus four intelligence, uh, energy, sugar, and popcorn. So yeah, it's pretty good. I raided this camp of scavengers. I was led here by a quest. And upon reaching the top, I got a uh, mystic boots. Nice. Well, I leveled up, but I want this. Wow. I want this, but at the same time, I want the charge first. So I chopped some mushrooms in the shroud and I got a new item. 
And with this, I unlocked the ability of the Optimus to make me a new set. It's called the Magician Trousers or the Magician Set. So yeah, I, I chop a bunch of these mushrooms so that we can complete our set. I don't know how many I need, but I know I need some as well to strengthen the flame. So I got the smithing tool the blacksmith was needing. I destroyed this shroud root where the blacksmith tool was located, because why not? And did you see that shock? That's, that's a very good passive, right? It shocks them. <laughs> I also found these red mushrooms. I mean, red, like a giant mushrooms. These guys are aggressive, unlike their green counterpart. And they drop some ammonia gland, which we need for strengthening the flame. And also some shroud back. Uh, shroud sacks. So I killed a bunch more of these guys as we needed the ammonia gland. They're actually fun to beat up since they're pretty chunky. It's, it's kind of fun to actually whack them with the magic. I was trying to locate how to go to my next quest, but it seems I was on the wrong area. But I did find this level 20 epic frozen core wand. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using it because currently my frozen core one is just level 15. It's a great addition to our arsenal. We're gonna get stronger against the scavengers. And after upgrading my frozen core wand. I made a bunch of new items like the bronze pickaxe and the bronze axe. Okay, so now we had the smithing tool. I was also able to craft the magician set now. All I need to do is just get my linen. Look, look, look. We need a lot of linen. So yeah, I was I was right to actually make a lot of flax. <laughs> magician set level 18. Mana regeneration, mana, 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 mana. This would work well because we now have an eternal fire. We don't have an eternal fireball yet. Oh no, that sucks. We have acid bite though. So yeah, I planted more flax as we'll need more linen in the future. And wow, look. Magician set. Doesn't this look nice? <laughs> look at the cave. For sure, right? Oh my god. Right, this time let's let's sneak in onto this one chicken right here okay we got it i had a side quest to locate this abuka camp but i decided to eliminate everything here as we needed some eggs for our new recipe on our farmer <laughs> can i lure everything then acid bite oh my god there's a lot Acid bite. Everything. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at them die. So strong. <laughs> oh my god, acid bite. As I was running along the road, I have reached a rattle break. Uh, we're very close to the tower now. That is my goal right now. So we have a fast travel point where we can just fly anywhere surrounding the tower. So we can do our quests more quickly. Yeah, pretty close. Let's go. More passion. The ancient spire of the nomad highlands. Alright, time to conquer this tower and reach the top. After a bunch of jumping around inside the tower, also breaking some jars. I think these are called the jars. <laughs> these are jars, right? I got to the top of the nomad highlands fast travel or the ancient spire of nomad highlands i immediately put the ancient spire to use by using it as my vantage point to go to the quest area i need to go to which is the rattle break being places like this makes me question why am i planting at home when i can just loot here but well these are not flax I'm not sure what I was looking for here. I think some kind of document to tell me where the black cauldron is. And I think I found it. And headed toward the quest location, I ventured towards this very thick fog of shroud. 
as I go deeper and deeper, I got to the Cradle of Dusk. And here was a boss waiting. Fell monstrosity. See how much damage our acid bite does. Acid bite! <laughs> what the fuck? It's already dead. Wait, not yet. One more. Acid bite! Oh my god, and we leveled up. How OP is acid bite? That's crazy. And since there was a nearby elixir well, I decided to raid it because I really wanted that extra skill point. I have a bunch of skills I want to add. So yeah, this was great. Thank you for the elixir well. I'm gonna cleanse the world of one more shroud root. And for some reason, it seems this elixir well didn't have any boss to guard it with. Just some regular shroud. Well, this was fairly easy. Ouch. Oh my god, not really, not really. I got to remove this Radiance Aura. It's not doing a lot of damage at all. There are better skills than wasting my points on this. Well, after all that, I made the Alchemy Station that the Alchemist wanted. Now, I can make the Eternal Fireball. We have our, <laughs> our loved Fireball. It's ready now. I actually didn't notice, there's also a higher level Eternal Ice Bolt. Way higher than the current Ice Bolt we have, which was free, but this one is crafted. I need to collect a bunch of fossil dust, and it takes a while for it to be grinded. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Fireball! 800. That's crazy. Fireball! Woo! <laughs> I get it. Fireball! Boom! Fireball. No. Fireball! Oh my god, I'm missing. Oh, I did not miss that one. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Fireball! Fireball! Alright. And that was fun. This is my revenge match against the bird. <laughs> it's no much for the AoE of the fireball. I raided Lupa's lair. We were looking for one thing here. The tanning station for the hunter. Fireball! Yes, sir. Oh, someone behind me. Yeah. Eat my wand. What? Dog dead. Alright. Okay. Fireball! Fireball! Oh. 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 Why is the dog here? Anyways, how I should kill this guy is the acid bite. Acid bite! Oh my god, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. <laughs> and he died. Alright. We were in a dangerous spot as well. Oh my god, a level 20 legendary Frozen Core 1. Okay, our damage is gonna get higher and higher from this point. Now we have the tanning station. That means we can make leather. And with leather, we can make bags. Higher bolt! Oh my god, it's so good. The explosion is so satisfying. Bam! Remember your friend, Acid Bite? Here it is. Acid Bite! <laughs> Look at that HP just going down. We leveled up to 18. Oh my god, the Pillman Velocity just died. This point of the game, I'm already overpowered. But maybe because we're at the early area, we still haven't progressed to the next area. But maybe, just maybe, after we level up our flame and cross the next area, I don't know what we'll expect. I went to mine a bunch of ancient bo bone how do you call this again fossilized bone yes i went to mine the fossilized bone i need a lot of this so we can grind it to bone dust and also i need some to strengthen the flame so i want i went on here for a while the only thing i need to do now is some cleanup like doing the remaining quest and uh, killing off some remaining shroud roots then i'm off to the new area there's a lot of these lone shroud routes without any guard on random locations of the map. You'll usually find them after like interacting with papers that are glowing in red in this game. Or I think maybe it's the ancient obelisk. I'm not sure anymore. 
But I think Ancient Obelisk is only for the locations of the Flame Shrine. Fireball! Oh my god. What's, what, anyone near me? Wanna fight? Fireball! And lastly, Fireball! Oh, he's still alive. Wow. I was also looking for tin ores here. This was a mining shaft. And I needed about 15 tin ores in order to strengthen the flame to level 5. This cookie dough looking rock is actually the tin ore. So yeah, let's mine about 15 of them. Afterwards, I raided another elixir well. Well, this is, gonna, this is gonna go on for the next couple of days because I really just want to clear all the low level areas up. Shroud Roots, quests, and anything else we need to do before we proceed to the next area on part part 4. Fireball! Fireball! One more? Fireball! <laughs> These guys can't get near me anymore. Fireball! At this point, I'm just having a blast with Fireball. It's very fun actually, especially since it's an AoE explosion that like does, you know, one-shot the enemies. It's crazy. Well, well, well. Will you look at that? Another Shroud Root hiding. <laughs> there was supposedly a Shroud Root on these parts where I'm at. But it seems I got lost. I went very deep underground and I'm not sure where I am anymore. And the shroud route I wanted to go to, I have no clue where it is. Maybe this is something like a forgotten up, I mean a forgotten part of the game or maybe a, uh, I don't know, like a future update. Cause it's huge down here. Like I was very deep, but it's not like it has a deadly shroud or anything. So yeah, since there were some mushroom, giant mushroom trees here, I needed this mint mushroom meat as well to strengthen the flame. I used up everything to make the magician set. I was not expecting that. So anyways, I got lost deep down here, but I eventually found my way up. I see freedom! Let's go, it's already night time. Yeah, I went to the mining shop again and found the shroud root. I went to the wrong side of the map. Light burst! So these the spell light burst is actually pretty neat in killing these bugs. It casts really fast. Like maybe not even one second and it bursts around you. So a few more shroud roots and I should be done. What are you doing up here, Mr. Shroud Root? I guess I chop you down. Oh. <laughs> I'm chopping the air. Well, just running around unexplored areas, I found yet another elixir well. Mm -mm. Juicy, juicy skill points. Upon going down though, I soon realized I already cleared this area. I just thought it was a new one. So yeah, I think that's everything. There's no more in the map. No more shroud roots. I can't find anything anymore. So we're done. Only thing left was to wait for my leather and dried fur to make. And after that was done, I made a large backpack. Look at our inventory slot. It's so big. So the only thing needed to do was to wait for my fossilized bones to turn into dust. So I decided to get some bronze bars here and the encampment, destroying everything I see. Because I needed those bronze bars later to make the laboratory the alchemist wants. So yeah, while well, waiting for the fossilized bone dust to finish grinding, why not? I also get some fossilized bone dust here from time to time. So it was a nice farming spot. And some spells like light burst and acid bite. So yeah, it's great. So we should have enough bone dust by now. Not yet, in a minute. So first, we need to strengthen our flame. We are now flame level 5. Boom. We have an extra int. 
I'm lacking like fossilized, four fossilized dust bone and two ammonia gland. But good thing my leather station still has a bunch of it. So I just grab a few, like the remaining two. And we're now just waiting for the fossilized bone dust to process. It takes about 10 minutes to process one bone. I'm gonna have to wait for a while. Finally, I was able to make the eternal ice ball. We're gonna have an ice element on our arsenal. In this area, there are new plants. This is basically the saffron. And we'll need about 40 pieces of them in order to strengthen the flame. And also, saffrons are used as a recipe for the farmer to make a plus 5 endurance water buff. There's also a new type of monster here. This is a scorpion. And they drop hard scales and also poison sacks. They're not really that threatening since they move very slow. But when they poison you, it sticks for a while. But we have our water aqua, so we can just heal up. Alright, let's try our eternal ice bolt with these fools. Ice bolt! Oh, <laughs> ice bolt! <laughs> Hit! Ice bolt! Oh wait, what the heck? I forgot to buff up. Alright, round two with buffs. Uh, the damage isn't really that great. <laughs> My wand is stronger. I think we'll just stick with the wand for now. Regarding ice element. So I crafted this for nothing. But it's still useful because it gives like a slow debuff. I'm not sure if the wand does the same. Yeah, only the staff. I mean the ice bolt does the small, uh, slow debuff. It's gonna be pretty useful to kite those green ones. Green scavengers. Oh, uh, these things. This is sulfur. We'll be needing about 40 to strengthen the flame. And also another 40. 24, I think, acid bite. The eternal acid bite. And 24, I believe, the the light spell. I forgot his name. Light. Alright, so after exploring the new area, I found a camp here with no one inside. No monsters, but a lot of treasure chests. And they kind of contain pretty good stuff. So I tried destroying stuff and see what I could get from here. And, well, it's just wood. So I guess there's nothing important or good. Ooh, fabric. It's pretty good. It's a high level item we need to craft the end gear stuff. All right, so I went to this place where there was a haunted, a uh, haunted sun temple. And I wanted to try fighting this level 43 green scavenger. Look at my <laughs> massive damage. <laughs> I can already tell that I need upgrades because I'm not really doing that much. Oh wait, that did a lot. It crit and my passive props. Okay, that's amazing. Wait, hold up. This is Lapis, right? Just on the road towards the brittle bush, there's Lapis. It is Lapis, I think. What's Lapis on the first strike? It is Lapis. Okay, now we unlock the Sage item set. Wow, it's just here. Damn. Alright. It needs fabric padding. Bones, fabric padding. What is wrong with this? <laughs> okay, so not that hard. I think I can farm this. Alright, so this spot is a great chest farm. This one, what's this blazing wand? Ooh, it looks cool. Wait, wait, I wanna see how it looks. It's already way better damage compared to my current wand. Hmm. And there's another chest here. Another hawk club we don't need. <laughs> oh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I decided to raid the Haunted Sun Temple now. I, I, I believe I was ready. I have a lightning wand. An epic lightning wand. And the level 20 frozen core legendary wand we got earlier in the playthrough. So yeah, I think I am ready now. With my Eternal Fire Bolt and Eternal Ice Bolt, I should be fine here. Especially since these are mostly undead, we can just Fire Bolt the way to victory. Fire Bolt. Fire Bolt! Oh my god, it's so tanky. Fire Bolt! Fire Bolt! Fire Bolt! Let's Acid Bite this thing so they can't... Come close. Mm. Burn your armor. 
Yeah, acid bite is one of their weakness. <laughs> we have reached the boss area and we're gonna face the fell sickle site now. This thing is really annoying. The sites are physical damage, I believe, because I'm gonna I'm getting destroyed if ever I face those. So let's begin. Whoa! I missed. Fire! Oh shit. <laughs> this thing is so Oh my god he is so strong. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. Okay, round two. Fight. Fireball! I hit him. I hit him, he's coming. Fireball! It's crit! Okay. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Where is he? No, you die first! Yeah. Be fun. <laughs> See, glass cannon. Glass cannon. <laughs> it's either me or him. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna start calling this place the desert. So anyways, in the desert, I interacted with the scroll and then the ancient obelisk. As per the quest wanted me to. So yeah, interacting with this obelisk will show us all the flame altars available in the area, I believe. Yeah. While walking along the road, I found this scavenger encampment. Ice bolt! Ice Ice. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, as I was raiding another scavenger in camp, I mean camp, something I did not expect happened. Oh my god, what the f- <laughs> The bird triggered the bomb and I died. Actually, ap after checking the footage, it was actually my acid bite that triggered the bomb. And the bird already does a lot of damage on me as I have a low armor. So it one-shot me. This palm tree? I'm not sure. I'm just calling it palm tree because it gives palm logs. So these drop the yucca fruit. And we need like 40 pieces. So I'm gonna keep chopping them down every time I see one to get the yucca fruit. Just saying. This is the Elder Mare Camp. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, basically you can farm fabric, colored fabrics, and paddings here. If you don't wanna, you know, farm flax, which is way more grindy, I guess. Unless you started planting flax from the beginning, it should be fine. But yeah, if you don't have the loom yet, and you want some endgame armor, you can always just farm this place for padding. And here we go. We also got the quest item, the scientific instruments. I called it chemical instruments earlier. But yeah, we have the scientific instruments now. We can craft the laboratory if we had enough bronze. Next, I just ran along the road and found this VUCA camp. There were a lot of VUCAs here. It was actually fun to mess around with my fireball. It's very fun to watch explosions damaging everything and killing everything. So much fun. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just destroying them so fast. Oh, everything's dead. Holy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me just show you the power of lightning channel. So good. Lightning channel. <laughs> There's like no casting time. It's so good. Oh my god. Lightning ch but yeah, it runs out very fast. It would have been it would be really nice if there's an eternal version of this. Level 25. Oh my god, they're crazy. Alright, so acid. Oh, oh what the f what? One more. Oh, they're not. He's not, he's not. Oh, he's dead. I thought he wasn't weak to acid bite, but I guess two acid bites took care of him. Now we have the beehive smoker. You like acid bite? Damn. Well, to make the laboratory, I need an Athenor, which needs a lump of clay, bronze bar, and glass. So yeah, a bit of grind and grinding is needed again. The farmer, we have unlocked the honey beehive, which can convert uh, sugar cane to honey. No really need it at the moment. But yeah, there's so many new food I'm gonna craft to further improve my stats, especially this meat wrap. 
So look at this. This is the Shroud Meteor. Boom! Oh, the damage is amazing, but it takes like all my mana. Alright, so my goal right now is to get to the tower. I will ignore everything. I will focus on my one goal, which is the tower. So we can teleport there anytime we want. And we're pretty close, actually. I think this is the right path. We just need to follow the road. And yes, I did make it to the tower. I mean, the ancient spire of the nomad. Nomad something. <laughs> so let's go up. After a bunch of puzzles and traps and everything else, we reach the top of the tower. And breaking jars is con is continuing to be my task because you know these stuff have good loot. Alright, I'll immediately make use of the tower as I head towards my next quest. Oh my god, two fabrics in one go. Dang. Let's go. Well, after that quick quest, I decided to farm more paddings and yellow fabric at this place. Or even just the fabric because I can make yellow fabric using saffron and a fabric. Oh, hey, look. We have a new set. It's called the Archmage set. Looks cool. <laughs> right now, I'm on a mission to find those big red mushrooms. I needed about 20 pieces of ammonia gland so I can make the eternal acid. Acid. Acid bite. <laughs> I forgot the name. So yeah, the eternal acid bite. So we gotta look for these mushrooms. And for some reason, now that I'm looking for them, they're not showing up at all. I have no idea where they can be located. But I'm pretty sure they usually lurk in these areas with green mushrooms. And well, since I was close by an area with a sun temple, I decided to just raid the place. And we got a treasure and it's a hunter bow. Trash. My quest for the glands continue. I don't know why, but I just don't see those red mushrooms anywhere. Where can I find them? I just want my eternal acid bite. Well, I found one. <laughs> Just one. I'm sad. It's gonna take a while. Well, I gave up on it. And I just decided to just raid some elixir wells I haven't yet beaten. Maybe I'll encounter those mushrooms along the journey. So yeah, for now, elixir wells for more skill points. Fireball! Fireball! I love the splash on fireball. Look at all the shrouds. <laughs> Eat my fireball. They're just dead. So I went to get iron and the fell sickle side. We're battling it again. I have to fight this with a wand because we got a shield up. Oh my god. You're dead. Yeah, he's dead. He still summoned his skeleton though, but it's not moving. <laughs> Oh, are you approaching me? Fire bull! <laughs> oh, another one. Now don't disturb me. I'm just mining iron here. Disappear. Incinerate. Well, I mined the entire node and it wasn't enough. I needed more. I needed to smelt some of this to make the pickaxe and the axe. And I also need about 40 to strengthen the flame. So yeah, it. I need to come back here again after resetting this area. We gotta fight the felsicle again. Another day, another elixir well. The area was filled with level 25 shrouds, but no problem with our fireball. Wait, there's a fell monstrosity. Oh, there he is. He was hiding. Oh my god. Alright. I've awoken the fell monstrosity. Fireball! Alright, here's your favorite acid, buddy. Acid bite! Acid bite! <laughs> Only thing left was to get some sparks. I grinded some shrines. Let's strengthen the flame. Max level, level 6. Let's go. Our flame is maxed. Now that I have strengthened my flame to the max level, we can finally raid the Sun Temple 
on the lower right side of the map which contains the legendary glider that is my number one priority right now it should make traveling much faster with that awesome glider we're gonna fly the skies so fast so upon arriving i had two choice here either jump like this to the side and just go to the second floor without battling or solving the puzzle on the first floor and yeah that's just what i did because it felt more easier and i didn't really want to fight any monsters right now i just want the glider even just oh <laughs> wow Wh whoever thought but anyways for the second floor, it's pretty easy. You just need to push like four buttons hidden around the room, which was not really that hard to locate. I was honestly excited to get the gliders, but I was protected by two birds. I had to try my best and defeat them without falling myself. But yeah, it's okay. The wall protects us and I will like slowly kill it one by one with my ice bolt. And I missed. Ice bolt! Ice bolt. Okay. What's up? Wanna fight? Bam. And he's dead. So it was now time to claim our reward. The legendary glider. But we don't have a lockpick. And we don't have any scrap metal. And I'm in trouble right now. But as I checked the nest. There was actually some scrap metals. So good. But problem is, it wasn't enough. It was just one piece. So I probably will need to fight some scavengers below. And that's a bummer. I'm so sad. But then, I saw another nest. It might contain the scrap metal we need. And it did. It had like, I don't know, four. Oh. Yeah. And here, we have... The glider. The ghost glider. The best glider in the game. So I raided this scavenger camp which had the hunter's loom. We need to locate it underground I believe. I've been searching for it and the quest hasn't popped up for me. So I gotta look harder. Acid point! Wait where's the acid? Oh my god. Acid <laughs> acid oh my god i got stunned this is horrible acid Wait. acid Wait. yeah i killed everything but the only thing left now was to look for the loom i'm not sure where it's located but it should be easy to find now that we're free from battling monsters well aside from these insects just the teleport area Wow, is this a... Yes, <laughs> we got a level 25 staff. <laughs> Let's go. And it looks pretty cool. Damn. Alright. After a bit of searching, I finally found the loom just under the basement of this place. There's a big crack where some monsters could go inside there. But yeah, we got the loom. Time to go home. After getting back from our adventures, I made myself the laboratory. Now we have access to make Eternal Acid Bite. An Eternal the light skill. But I still don't have the Adrenal Glands I need to make the Acid Bite. I'm sad. For day 79, I mined a bunch of Sulfur as I needed this for the Light Burst and the Eternal Acid Bite. I need about 20 each and also already have... Or no, I don't. I'm gonna need some sand as well as I need them to make glass. Because I need glass. And since it was already nighttime, I wanted to try my chances on maybe locating a mushroom. Since it's very dark and their color red, maybe I can spot some. But well, mm, it's not really easy. Because also a thick fog over the shroud. I did manage to find one though, but it's not gonna be enough. We'll need more. So I crafted the light burst as I was able to now. The only thing remaining really was the acid bite. Hopefully I don't die randomly. Light burst! Oh. I guess the light burst is really just for the bugs. The distance is about this much. Alright. 
We got the obelisk. I then went inside this giant hole which spirals to the bottom of the ground. And here I found a really cool staff I haven't seen yet. It was called the Mirage and it's basically a shroud type staff. But since my current staff is way higher in terms of level, I didn't really want to make use of it. For this day, I decided to continue hunting some elixir wells because why not? Skill points are great. Ooh, uh, you freaking bugs. Fireball! Straight here. No boss. Fireball! Fireball! Oh, it's not dead! Uh, fireball! Wait, what the heck? There's a knight here. Wait, I don't have mana regeneration. This staff sucks. My previous staff had mana leech or mana regeneration. I'm not sure, but with this staff, I can't seem to regenerate any mana at all. Look how slow it's regenerating. I need to rely on my wand to mana leech. And I'm just testing out the eternal light burst. It's not really that great on opponents with high health. Hunting for another elixir well again. Let's go. Oh, actually, it's not an elixir well. It's just a shroud root. So let's just chop this baby down. And for the final mid-level areas, shroud root. I think I cleared out everything. And this is the last one. I'm just gonna clear out these flowers. And then I'm gonna take care of this now. I noticed there was a shroud root I haven't conquered yet in the low level area. I did not notice this at all. But yeah, it's a free skill point, so I'm gonna go there and break it. But <laughs> I passed by it. I gotta go back up. It's honestly hidden pretty well, but there were no guards to it. You just basically just go inside a cave and cut it down. Good thing we have our legendary glider. It's so fun and fast to travel around Ember Vale with this. So yeah, I just went on my day clearing some quests I probably missed out on, like interacting with Ancient Obelisk and other stuff. Like discovering areas like Hilllock. There's really nothing to do with what's my character doing. But there's really nothing else to do here, just discovering areas, uh, destroying Shroud Roots. And look at the new Ice Bolt update. It has an, it's an AoE now and it leaves some frosting. Basically, I played the non-updated version up till day 80 and now Frostbolt is actually pretty decent because of the AoE but the damage remains the same but I still like it because of the AoE. Look at that snow burst. It's so nice. But yeah, my staff sucks. It doesn't have any mana regeneration or mana leaf. I need to like um, swap to my wand in order to mana leech. Not this Tempest one though, but my Frozen Core one has mana leech. So yeah, I finished uh, some Shroud Roots and other side quests before I wanted to finish the game. So that's a thing. Because honestly, at this point, after getting the Legendary Glider, I was already done with the game. I mean, like, the remaining Sun Temple and quests, there aren't really a challenge anymore. There's no new boss. They're just basically level 30 enemies we've already encountered. And they're quite hard, but still, yeah. Just gonna clear out everything so we complete 100% achievement on this game. Except for the fact that I don't wanna go and search for flame shrines. I'm too lazy for that. And a couple of shroud roots to go and I should be done. Chop chop. So yeah, it was time to go back to the high level area we need to fight monsters with. Because well, we're too overpowered to the low level area and we can't really showcase the mage there. There we go, we have 5 points we can put to Exalted. Now you get 1 intelligence per level. Oh my god, these guys are level 30. Okay, both Brute and the Archers are together. If you notice the huge nerf on the Water Aura, it doesn't heal as big and as fast as before. It, I think it was nerfed at maybe around 75% its original power. But still, it's good. You don't need bandage with this. So after defeating the Shroud Root and the monsters in this area, I got the Shroud Reweaver. It's pretty decent. It has mana regeneration and I think I'm gonna be using this. Because it has also fire damage and crit chance. 
I'm comparing the two, uh, they're, they're both different stuff. For some reason, the Mirage looks bigger, but when you use it both, they look the same. Only the picture is different. Like, the Mirage is bigger in the picture, but the Weaver is, like, thinner. But it's the same. So I upgraded my Shroud Weaver, and then I went to the Elixir Well. Fireball! Oh my god, look at that damage. Wait, what? And I reach max level at this point. Yeah, 25 is max level currently. I You don't get any more experience after reaching this level. This four exploding bugs look very scary. But well, we dealt with it with our fireball and our lightning one. <laughs> but yeah, imagine if you were not a mage or an archer. Then you were a melee character. I don't know how you can avoid those exploding bugs. Is it a fell sickle again? <laughs> Fireball! Fireball! You're you're screwed already, buddy. I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. <laughs> I killed it. Alright. So I decided to reset my skill because I wanted to get this blood magic. So if ever my man I have low mana, I can always just use my health and get in mana and we have water aura anyways so we can just heal up the mana back i mean the hp back <laughs> so i think it's a good idea to get a blood art so we have unlimited source of mana this spot right here is one of the best spots to grind for level 25 gears or endgame gears but i made a huge mistake like look all my active altars are already used up <laughs> so I can't put an alt here. I need to go back. So yeah, these this chest gives you more or less level 25 armor or epic and legendary grade level 25 items. So I'm gonna come back here and bring an altar. So I brought my altar and placed down a chest and let the grind begin. <laughs> you know, the, the hardcore grind. Change level 25 armors like this. And legendary and epics. Just store what you don't like. And ooh, we got a scorching wand. Just the right weapon we wanted. A fire weapon. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically what our end game would look like after collecting everything. It will take a while. <laughs> but at least you can get everything you want as a set. For our so yeah, you get the Elder set here. The hat basically gives the same as the other Magician sets. The armor as well. Health and mana. Gloves is magic damage multiplier. The pants is mana regeneration and mana. And for the boots, it's mana regeneration and delay of mana regeneration. For the wands, there's a new wand called the Helix. It shoots out shroud magic. Uh, this weaver is was what we got earlier. And then the other wand is a legendary version of the Ritual Tempest wand we were using. There's also the Luminous wand, the Blackened Staff, Frozen Core, Scorching wand, uh, the Shepherd's Lightning. But, currently, but right now, I'll be using the Scorching wand for fire, Frozen Core wand for ice. And we're going to be using the Blackened Staff as the Blackened Staff has the best, I don't know, bonus stats, I think. For me, as well, for me, because it has mana regeneration and mana leech, and I like that. And then for our fourth wand, I'll be using the Helix. I wanted to try the Shroud wand. Alright, so let's finish up the game. Let's head to the Sun Temple, beat the puzzles, and claim the treasures within the tomb. So for the Sun Temple... What? The Relic Kindle ways. What kind of quest is that? Anyways, for the Sun Temple, we just need to solve like two puzzles. I mean, three puzzles. Oh my god, good thing we had lockpicks. Okay, so I guess... Oh, the Shroud actually damages this guy. Ooh. I kind of like this. It's actually... Like, its attack speed is very fast. Wait, it's the same. But like, the travel time compared to this... It's the same. I'm dumb. For some reason, it looks fast to my eyes. Do you think so? Alright, so the first button, done. One of the easy ones would be this one. Just double jump, fly. And we got it. 
So yeah, for this puzzle, we just need to follow the one on the rooftop. I never figured this one out. Someone in the comments said they just follow the roof and that was one of the best tip actually. Now we cross very fairly easy but we can always just have like double jump fly and whoosh easily as well. It's a treasure chest and inside this treasure chest. Wow the paladin armor. Okay. Ooh fancy. Currently, melee in this game is very bad. And not really very bad, but in late game, it's very bad compared to rangers and archers where their damage is multiplied by a lot by additional projectiles from their skills. Melee, on the other hand, has... Maybe I'm just... Maybe I just need to explore it more, but melee doesn't really have that much damage output compared to these two. So it's gonna be hard to do a pure melee run. Also, you can't hit the flying leeches or mages or the sickle side with melee. You know, it's always fun to just aim at your enemies from below while you rain them with fireballs. I tried out the shroud meteor, but I was too far from the enemy. And that was dumb of me. Anyways. Firebolt. Firebolt. Ice bolt. Ice bolt. That's two chain. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I was gonna say chain lightning. Chain lightning. I swear, the lightning channel needs an eternal version because it's so fun to disintegrate everything with lightning channel. Far. Ice poop! <laughs> oh, I missed. Ice poop! Wait, what the hell? Hit. Hit the target. Ice bolt! Ice bolt! I will never run out of mana because I have the passive skill. Ice Bolt! You know, they said they nerfed the mage hard, but I don't feel it that much. <laughs> Maybe because we're not getting damage that our water aura is putting to the test. But yeah, the, ner the water aura is nerfed so much. Still, it's better than bandaging yourself each time you get like a scratch on you. There's just one root. Oh, oh, oh. There's no sickle site or anything, it's just a root. I have cleared the kindle waste of all shroud roots. Wow, nice achievement, steam. Oh, here it is! Here it is! Oh. Good thing we have a shield. What? Ineffective? Oh my god. Okay, I'm running. Oh my lord. Fireball! What the hell? He's so tanky. Why? Just why? Alright. Fireball! Oh my god, he's so tanky. Fireball! Nice. Fireball! Ineffective? What? But this freaking works. Fireball! Freaking hell. Fire! Freaking shit! Wait, wait. Maybe ice. Oh, it works. That's different. He's dead. He's gone. And for the rest of the day, I went on to get more ancient obelisk so we can finish everything we need to do i have finished everything i needed to do in the game the early levels the mid levels and the high level i have cleared all the shroud roots the elixir wells some of the ancient obelisk i think most of them but i'm not sure really but i don't see anything else that needs to be done so yeah, thank you for watching our 100 day enshrouded. I mean, I played 100 days of enshrouded as a mage. Hope you enjoyed your stay here. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to tune in in some other gameplay videos. This is Rogue. Bye now.